In this video, we'll be using Portainer's stack feature to spin up Nextcloud with the Maria database, along with the Nginx proxy manager and DuckDNS. Portainer's stack feature uses Docker's Compose, and that's what we'll be using today. It's pretty straightforward, so let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is install Portainer, so let's SSH into our server. And if we go over to my notepad plus here, I already have Portainer's Docker run here. So let's just copy this and paste it into our putty session. Now let's create a folder for our Docker volumes. So we're just gonna make a directory and name it Docker. Then we're gonna change to that directory. And then if you type in PWD, it'll list out the full path. And then we'll use this path later in our Docker Compose file config. Now let's go ahead and modify our Docker Compose config file. So this is our Docker Compose file starting at the version 3.3 and there are a few variables we need to change. So we're using the replace feature. First thing on the list is nextcloud db password. Highlight that and paste that into the find what field and replace with and just type in whatever you want your db password to be. And then hit re replace all. Next thing on the list is path. So we're gonna find what path, replace with, and this is gonna be the path we pulled out of the Docker folder we just created. It's back over to putty. And then this is what we got from PWD. And this is what we're replacing with. Replace all. Now we need to head over to DuckDNS to pull our subdomain and token. Let's open up our web browser and head over to DuckDNS.org. Go ahead and get logged in if you aren't already. And then we'll go and create a subdomain. So we'll just call this next cloud. And then we'll grab the subdomain here. Back over to our notepad. And we we'll find what is SD replaced with is our subdomain. And then finally grab the token. Find what is TK and replace with is your token. And that should do it for our Docker Compose file. And now let's browse over to Portainer and run through this initial config. And we are connecting to Docker. Connect. And I always like to go into the endpoint first local and set the IP address. Now I go back to home and then local and then containers. And we can see we only have the one container running and now we can install uh, Nextcloud using our Docker compose file. So let's grab the file all the way up to version 3.3. Copy this, and then on the left, go to stacks, and then add a stack, and this one we'll call it Nextcloud, and then paste in your Docker Compose file, and click on deploy. And now that our stack is installed, let's take a look at Nextcloud stack, and we can see all of our containers are running, now let's configure the Nginx proxy manager so that we can get everything set up. So let's browse over to port 81. And the username by default is admin at example.com. And the password is just the word change me all in word. And then at the very beginning, it'll make you change it.
And now let's first add our SSL certificate. The domain was nextcloud.duckdns.org. We're gonna use, we're just gonna uh, agree to the Let's Encrypt Terms of Service. We don't need to use a DNS challenge. And it didn't save, let's next. Well, I'll not add you and then save. And now we can add our proxy. So add proxy host. And we're going to add the domain. DNS.org. And we're going to forward this over to our next cloud. Docker container on port 80. If we switch over to our SSL and we can select our Let's Encrypt SSL certificate from the list, we'll enable the options and hit save. The last thing we need to do is open up ports 443 and 80 on our home router so that it will accept the traffic coming in. So we'll browse over to my home router. We'll go down to WAN settings and virtual port forwarding. And I'm gonna add a profile. We'll just call this proxy manager. And it's ports 80 and 443. We're gonna route this over to our host. And then we'll enable port forwarding. And now that we've forwarded the ports in our router, once we click on this, it should take us to Nextcloud. Now we need to do is set up an admin account and storage and database. It's gonna be a Maria database. The username is root. The password is whatever you set it to be um, earlier in the config file on our Docker config here. And the database name and local host are both MariaDB. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish Setup. And that's it. It's going to walk through its thing and then take you through the dashboard and give you its welcome screen. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.